Hello my fellow cultured people, it has almost been 3 years since I've started to make cardboard guns and I certainly have quite the large collection. Here, let me show you. Within them, some are good, some are bad. Not everyone has seen all the guns and you may as well be new to the channel. So instead of wasting time in editing another Arsenal video <laughs> that most people only watch 2 minutes, uh, I will just show you 5 of my best and 5 of my worst creations so far. Watch till the end because something will happen to my worst gun and join the cultured people by subscribing with notifications. Keep in note I only counted cardboard guns, not hybrid ones or paper ones. Let's go! 5 of the best guns I've ever made. Number 5 M1918A2BAR Built almost a year and a half back, it was a surprisingly good build. It is probably because I had a solid goal. I wanted to make mine better than Magical Amazing Spear Arm. Whether it is or not, it's up to you. Anyways, it has a very weirdly shaped grip, but I somehow did not fail at making it nice and curved. A nicely built mag release lets the mag drop free when pushed and is still working today. The gun is strong and also has a bipod which is made exactly like the real thing, with screws. As you can see. The one flaw of this gun that made it number 5 is that the carry handle doesn't actually stay on the gun as how the real thing does. A piece of tape is needed to put the handle onto the gun. It can still move but the tape is visible. Another thing is that the front is not the tightest and can slide a little bit. This is due to the removable bipod as it is clunky and heavy and the real thing is also removable. Number 4 is L115A3 Built 4 months ago, it is actually my second time building this. My first attempt was this gun's little brother and it was made out of paper. Boasting shell ejection and solid curves, it deserves to be number 4. I'm surprised by myself on the grip to be honest, it feels very nice and smooth and I did it first try. It has a beautiful bolt and a slick trigger, the bipod and monopod works nicely and the scope is beautiful. However, the bipod does not stay fully up, it is my first attempt at making a bipod with rubber bands. The other problem is the cheek rest. I did not know that there was a U shape at the front when looked at from the top as you can see right now. I did a hole. The cheek rest is not 100 accurate, but since it is adjustable and removable, I can always remake it, but I'm lazy so that will have to wait. There is also this problem, where the shell ejection only works 90% of the time, but it was also my first attempt so you can't really blame me. And that is why it did not get higher on this list. Numa Drei, das PP Lange Prototype. I actually built two of these. I built a production variant PP and a long slide PP prototype I saw in an auction for the memes. You know, PP, long PP, haha funny. Built almost a year ago, the long slide one is significantly better than the other one. That is because the slide moves way more smoothly. The trigger, however, could have been better for both of them, but there was barely any space for me to work with, so F. I'm especially happy about the sights and the hammer. It can also be taken apart. The one flaw however is the safety. It is too weak and moves too easily. There was not enough space for me to stop it from rotating too much from inside. But again, the gun is very small so I really couldn't do much. Number two. The AK-105. Built a month ago and my most recent gun. Definitely not biased in any way. This gun is my best AK yet. The charging handle is probably what everyone who makes an AK would want. It is strong and works exactly like the real one. The mag release is smooth and the stock folds smoothly. It it even looks like the real thing. Furthermore, the sights are great and it can be disassembled. However, it is not my number one. Here are some honorable mentions before we get into the best gun. The M2 Browning which looks epic but did not make it to top 5 because the barrel is too heavy and sinks a little bit. The bolt is not perfectly detailed from the inside, the trigger is not the best and the charging handle bends down a little bit. The FG42 which did not make it because the top plate was a little too long and there was no mag dust covers as I couldn't make it spring back like the real thing. The bipod is also very weak and the bayonet is a little dodgy. So, number one, drum roll. <laughs> Code SMG635 Built 10 months ago, it is strong, smooth and can be taken apart. It is my favourite as it is compact, can mount lights and detailed. The shell deflector was very hard to make but I am very happy with the result. Its stock is adjustable and the mag release works. Unlike a lot of other AR-15 style carbo guns out there, my gun does not bend downwards even when pushed against my shoulder along with the weight of the flashlight. One improvement however I could have done was make the mag better. But all of the good combined makes this number 1. Now that you have seen my list, what do you think are my best 5? Comment down below and since you're down there, be sure to like the video and subscribe with the bell if you haven't already. Thanks now. 5 of the worst guns I've ever made. Watch to the end, you won't regret it. Number 5!
Bye. Widely regarded as the worst gun ever made, the cardboard version ought to be on this list, the Zip 22. Built a year ago, this thing may be a meme for a bad gun, but I actually did not do a very good job making it. The bolt does not go back all the way, which is inaccurate. The trigger does not move because I couldn't make it move smoothly and reliably. The safety also does not work, the mag release doesn't work too. The two charging handles are also very flimsy and they wobble. Are you saving? G36C. Also built more than a year ago, it used to be great, until it wasn't. However, the fact that I made a working charging handle is quite cool, but the lower half leaves something to be desired. The stock lock is not great, something broke within the trigger part and now it barely works. I tried to use a rubber band for the mag release and it turns out that it was a bad idea, as it cannot hold the mag in anymore. The mag release lever is also weak, that is why you see the stick I glued to it, which didn't help at all. You might now be thinking, this ain't that bad. Don't worry, it gets way worse. Number 3, P08 Luger. Built a year ago, the Togo, it worked for a month until the bottom bit broke, and now it doesn't work anymore. You see here, I tried to fix it, but nope, it still didn't work. The other reason it is number 3 is because the trigger does not actually work and the toggle itself looks kinda trash. Number 2, M16 with M203. Built almost 2 years ago, it is oversized and originally had an overly curved mag. The stock is trash and the grenade type makes me want to kill myself. It also has the bend that I was talking about before. It is a huge bend as well. The bolt and charging handle is also overly tight. And now just like before, honorable mentions before number 1. Well not exactly honorable but you get what I mean. The Sten Gun. It was my first attempt at making my first spring. It is not reliable and weak. The stock comes off but it is wobbly and flimsy. When I try and reload the gun, the mag well is a little tight and pushes against my hand, which swivels the gun to the right, then adds stress to the stock, in turn makes it more loose. The mag release also doesn't really work that well. The NTW20. This one is also way oversized, the barrel is too heavy, the carry handle has just fallen off, and it looks very bad. The trigger does not work, and where the bipod is attached is inaccurate as it is supposed to be attached at the front of this plate, which would definitely bend under the weight of the barrel, so I had to do it for the back. However, since like the stand gun it can be field stripped and the bolt is nice, it didn't make the list. So what is my worst gun? Drum roll. Number 1, the Dragonov SVDS. Built a little more than 2 years ago, it is my first ever cardboard gun that I did not use tutorials on. It has a working mag release that doesn't really work anymore, a detailed mag that doesn't really stay in nicely anymore, the sights are atrocious, the stock has gone to shit, and the trigger is a non-detailed working one. The bolt carrier is not spring loaded and it is very stiff, and the handguard is trash as well. The front is just shite. The fire selector is actually decent though, but that's really the only thing going for it. Just like before, here's my list, tell me yours in the comments. So, now what? Remember what I said at the beginning of the video? It's time to destroy my worst cardboard gun. I will first take out parts that I actually want to keep, then I will destroy it, then I will burn it. And while you're at it, why not subscribe and like the video? Check out my Patreon if you want exclusive content for a low low price, and enjoy! I have an assortment of tools. Now I'm gonna burn it. I have water there just in case. Goodbye, Dragon Off.
Call me a pussy if you want, but the fire was going beyond my control at this point and the backyard is small, I don't want to burn down the house, it's not even my house, it's rented. So I poured the water. And yeah, thanks for watching.